Yo, 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 what's up, guys? I am here, I am here. Awesome, I'm glad you like the stickers, bro. I put a lot of work into them. My wife thought some of them were kind of crappy. But I worked hard. Wait till you see the box cutters I got coming. Christian, you suck. What up, Bry? What up, James? Two notches. I can't do two notches today. I'm super hype, bro. I haven't broken a Spectra in so long. Well, I've never broken Spectra, <laughs> so that is a very long time. But I've been looking at this box for the past month, and I'm, like, super hyped to do this. See, I told you I got Brian. Now he's got two of the ones he likes. Hi right, guys, what's up? How you guys doing? Everybody good? Thank you, Ryan. Did you see James said hi? No, hi. James, she, she said, you suck. You're too lucky. That's not true. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say anything. What up, bro? How are you, Josh? Ooh, Vicky, I don't know. You might not get a hello for that one, Brian. That's what my mom called me when I was a kid. She still calls me that, actually. Davey! You want some jazz? Let's, let's put some jazz on. No, it's almost dead, unless you give me the charger, too. How are you, brother? Dion got some spots tonight. Thank you. Is Dion here too, Davey? Or is he going to be on later? Or is this too late for him? I like Jazz too, bro. We still got Chronicles too, if you guys want to fill some Chronicles. Chronic Izzles. What up, Andrew? How's it going, brother? What is on the menu? We can do another... Well, Sid's trying to push for the contenders because he's in contenders. Uh, I have the NBA Hoops Blaster Box. Meh. How was your day today, Sean? You doing good, brother? Meh. You got something to do now, Andrew? You got a golden break to join. Meh. We will do the golden break in a little bit. I still got to type up... Um, Everyone's thing. We have two tickets left. I'm gonna get those two tickets to two lucky people. I was gonna say cool people, but you're all cool people. Okay, sounds good, Davy. Rippin, you wanna buy a box of Chronicles? Christian, you wanna get lucky? Go talk to your wife. Oh, you wanna be lucky? You're a lucky guy already, brother. You had a good day. You're here with us right now. Alright, today I think we're going to listen to some... Some new jobbies. Let's see what we got here. No, you know who I want to listen to? Let's listen to it. Uh, their teams are on the website right now, so just fill up the teams. Aaron, you're working out the bar? Aye, brother. Well, I hope I can pull you some fire. Stop that, James! Brian, let me check. Do you like some Louis Armstrong, Sean? Kirk Whalen. Let me check out Kirk Whalen. No, rip and stop. Stop it, Ribbon. Stop it. <laughs> I went to nine stores today. I couldn't find it. No. <laughs> I'm going to revoke your golden tickets. <laughs> 
Kirk Whalen. Stop distracting me. I'm looking up Kirk Whalen, bro. Does he have a playlist? Do you feel me? Is it Waylum or Waylin? On here, I have a Waylum. Oh, yeah, okay. It doesn't matter if it's co not if it's copyrighted. I'm not monetized. Huh? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Yeah, it does. So if it's copyrighted, then they can shut my video down. Oh, screw that! Hold on, I gotta go do something else. <laughs> you buzzkill. You told me to look it up a while ago, and that's what I told you. Oh, I love you. Thank you. You balance me. Alright, we're gonna have to do with this. I can see your comments, Sid. Hi, brother. They want you to rip this. No, they do not want to. They were just asking, and that's a big no. No. Sean's comment is very fitting right now to how you're acting, okay? <laughs> There's no need for you to be the law. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's this? Oh, wow. Three out of 45. Damn. Did you just pick that up? Rip in. I just did, Bri. It's cool, bro. Did you just get it? Uh, you guys, if I'm, uh... If I'm a little slow, I'm typing up the list. So we got Chris. S. With a golden ticket. We got Charles. H with a golden ticket I'm slow without the list what do you mean all right Brian bring him in come on brother let's do it James D golden ticket Chris you made it brother speak it into existence Sean, I'm gonna re use your real name for the list, uh, or whatever that name is, or your your um, court name, the witness protection name. That way, I can keep track of who I'm mailing what to. Ah, oh, thank you, Brian. I appreciate that, man. We got a new buyer today for tomorrow's um, mosaic first off the line, so I think the mosaic's gonna be breaking tomorrow. Pretty sure. I appreciate it, brother. I really do. I, I was, I'm trying to get you that Bowman 2020, but um, James is over there ripping it all. Sid, are you on a PC right now? Ripin, I told you. I told you this was gonna happen. Try restarting your phone. When was the last time you restarted your phone? I bet you it's been a long time. Don't worry, we'll be here for a bit. Davy Davy, the golden ticket. Is anyone else having problems? <laughs> Go get on your computer, Sid. You're gonna want to watch this on a good screen anyways. Christian, my man, with the golden ticket. Brian, with the golden ticket. Tim, with the golden ticket. Zach, with the golden ticket. James, got his golden ticket revoked. So we have another open golden ticket. 
Corey with a golden ticket. Corey, I saw your email, bro. I will get back to you tonight. And yes, I am. I am interested. I will cut you a good deal. And Miguel with the golden ticket. Clubbers! Brian, I'm actually going to handpick the teams on who I like the best. And pick. Brian E, what's up, brother? How are you? Christian with a silver ticket. What? No, but seriously, Rippin, do you really like it? <laughs> really, Sean? You don't gotta do that, bro. That's awesome. I'll put it up here with Bruce. I'm just messing with you, Brian. Of course I'm gonna randomize it, brother. I couldn't pick between you guys. You know what kind of feud that would start? Josh, your computer is always a little behind for some reason. Well, there is a built-in lag into the YouTube itself. <clears throat> Michael M. with a golden ticket, or a silver ticket. Andrew with a silver ticket. I believe that makes Andrew whole. Or no, 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 he's only got silver. Okay. Brian is the first one to complete the duo. He had the double. Uh, thank you, brother. Charles also completed the duo, I think. Yeah, he did. James also completed the duo. Zach completed the duo. Miguel completed the duo. <laughs> Daniel H picked up a silver ticket. Kev H picked up a silver ticket. Robert H picked up a silver ticket. Sean completed the duo last night. Thank you for those. And Kyle, new customer, picked up a silver ticket. Congrats, Kyle. Thank you. Kyle is Dan's friend, yes. I don't know if you buy a personal tonight or a spot. If you buy a spot right now, I will give you a silver ticket. Do you have a spot, a silver ticket already or a gold ticket? <laughs> what do you propose I do then? If we get the contenders filled, we'll break that. Let me get my teams list. See, Sid? Look at that. Who needs IT when you have a bunch of smart guys in chat with you, even when your chat doesn't work? Is that like the blind leading the blind kind of thing? Uh, let me check it out. Let me get my, uh... My handy dandy website up. Brian, I'm randomizing it. You yeah, I will allow trades. Do you want to open up some contenders? You want to look for that cracked ice? Uh, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. Oh my god, I think we're going to be breaking the FOTL tomorrow. That's going to be so awesome.
in the <laughs> Sod. Well, that's probably not. That's probably the way to go, though. Uh, Brian's not new, but he is the newer one to the chat. He has no. no On the oh, new guy on the website. Uh, well, I can't really tell you his last name, but uh, I don't know him. Like, I don't, I don't know him. That's what excites me the most. That someone from the outside came in and bought a spot. Oh, oh, Dustin, Dustin, bro. Sorry. I have a box of uh, one box left of 2017 playoff football, Davy. Not any. I don't have. It's a hob. It's a hobby box. One auto, one mem. I don't have any more blasters. The blasters won't be coming by anytime soon. What did she do? That's crazy. That was crazy sounding. Like a little demon baby. Oh, cool. I mean, I mean. It's not cool that it's not your guy, but it is cool that I got someone from the outside, so. Thank you for referring people in. Cool. Seven spots left for contenders. Seven spots? Seven spots for contenders, guys. Davey, for the personal of the Hobby Box 2017, it's 160 ripped and shipped. For you and Brian, same deal. For everyone else, it's 170. Only because I promised that to them before. Oh, ouch! <laughs> uh, let me check. Who got the sea chickens? It was like a foot race. Brian E for the sea chickens, okay. He's the one that called him the sea chickens, not me. Yeah. Who, Brian S? Brian, wife is asking you who's your PC. His PC is vast. Who's your team for NFL is what he said. Uh, the 2017 playoff football hobby box, Chris, is 170 ripped and shipped. It's that one right in front of you guys in the, in the camera now. He's the Cowboys. Oh, you can see that. Everyone was a vast PC. Alright, um, what do we got left in contenders? Oh, Sean got into Chronicles? So that one's getting close too. Josh took the Eagles. The Eaglets. Oh, you guys got it done? Who was the first one to buy it? Brian? E? Brian E? Brian E, you got a silver ticket spot, brother. Brian E. Silver ticket. And then Sean? He's got two spots ready, though. So I can't give him another. Thank you, though, Sean. Wait, does Josh have a spot already? Because Josh just took the Eagles. And he doesn't... He just said he bought the uh, Eagles. He has oh, he has a golden ticket? A golden ticket. Okay. okay. It came up? Josh, you got a silver ticket, brother. We're all good on the golden break, guys. So the golden break is locked and loaded. That one will be going down here in about 30 minutes. You, you're filled up, Josh. Yeah, you got both. Uh, four left for contenders. Sean just picked up Steelers. Hey, Sid. 
Are you gonna pull me a Genesis Zion or what? What's going on, bro? You feel lucky? You better take a nice shower before you open up those boxes. I want you to do a lucky dance too. Get your four lucky four leaf clover. Wait, wait, is it four leaf or five leaf? Four leaf. Four leaf, okay. Four leaf. Or even find a five leaf if you can. That's gotta be extra luck, right? Five is bad luck in Chinese culture? I don't know if five is bad in Chinese culture, but I know eight is good in Chinese culture. Thank you, Rippin. Hey, James, uh, if you don't mind, you could just message me if you like. What did the packs for the contenders cost you? <laughs> oh, James, I don't know if you know Brian. Brian, Rippin is James. Rippin just got into baseball because of 2020 Bowman. Even though he said he doesn't like baseball. Viking, Bears, and Panthers. Three free Debo's. When you say free Debo, I think of like Debo being in jail, and I think of Friday after next. No, brother, I put the Panthers in there for you, Davy. I put them in there for you, and I priced it accordingly for you, Davy. <laughs> I was surprised you didn't get him when I first dropped it. Let me start making the list then. Can you read off who has who? Hold on. No, Andrew, if you, uh, if you want the Colts, I could switch something out for you, and, uh, I can, yeah, I can make the Bears or the Vikings the uh, random. Can you come here real quick? What are the last two spots? How much are they? 25. All right, uh, we could do both of them for 45 if someone's interested. Or, Josh, if you're wanting the Colts, I can cut you a deal for the Colts and either the Bears or the Vikings for 45. Oh, Brian got the bears. So last one. Thank you, Brian. I know you mean D-Boy, my boy from the Niners. He ain't like my boy boy, but he is. Cool guy. Did you guys see that live stream he did? It's kind of weird. Yeah, Sean, I am. I don't know, he's just talking jibber-jabber when we drafted Javon Kinlaw. No, I don't know. You couldn't tell. He was just weird. <laughs> he kept looking at the camera and being like, all right, all right, all right, mm-hmm. That's all he did the whole time. It was just really weird. Josh, what are you talking about? Okay. Um, can you switch out the Vikings for the Colts? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want, just what's the price on the Vikings? Twenty-five. Drop. Okay. Drop it down to twenty for the Colts, and someone will get lucky with the Vikings on the floor. Yeah. So Andrew, on the thing, it's gonna show Vikings. It will just be the Colts. Just pick it up, and uh, I reduce the price down to twenty. So now everyone has a chance. At um, getting the Vikings. What's up, B Pats? How are you, brother? His team is the Colts as well. Yes, I like VJ. Except I, I mean, I have stories about VJ. My cousins, we lived on top of a mountain in Fiji. Uh, I came here when I was really, really young, and my cousins. And also my brother-in-law now, who lived in the village further, we all grow sugarcane, and he used to cut school and cut through the sugarcane to hide from the headmaster, because he would get a whooping. So his dark ass would come running through there, and he would hide with my uh, cousin, let's call him Dave right now. James, why are you doing this to me right now? Don't do this to me. Oh yeah? <laughs> Alright, we're all loaded on contenders. Alright. Can you come here and read off the list? Rip in. Man, and I was gonna give you that Kevin Durant floorboard too. No, Rip in! No, don't do this to me! Look, I paid for them. You gotta stop now. They're paid. It's sent. Uh, we're gonna do the contenders real quick, and then we'll do the golden break. Uh, the golden break shouldn't be that many. I think it's just ten cards, right? Rippin', I've been pushing your candy like Willy Wonka, brother. <laughs> it's like Dave Chappelle, brother. It's like I'm on crack. I'm like, come on. You gotta get some of this candy from Sweet Freaks. It's awesome. Get a fix of this. Yeah, go for it. Andrew got the Colts. That's the only one I had written already. Thank you for repeating it. Brian S. got the Bears. Brian S. got the Burrs. Davey Davey got the Panthers. James Raiders Nation. Sean with the Steelers. And he said, I pay for slides. <laughs> I can't work with you. <laughs> Sid's got the miners. You got that, right? Sid, you made her mad. Look, she yelled at me because of you. Sean with the Steelers. Sean with the Steelers. Josh with the Eagles. Yes. Brian E. with the Seahawks. Oh my god. Andrew, did you just call me an Oompa Loompa? Oh, hell no. Oh, mama, 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 huh? Bob. Ooh, he picked up the big boys. I hope I pull a monster auto. Okay. Stephen L. Hey, brother, sorry about that again, man. I hope I pulled some fire for you, too. Ravens and Baby got the Chiefs nice. And James K got the Cardinals. James K got the Cardinals. Sixteen right there. There we go. <laughs> I still can't believe he called me a Numpa Lumpa. You guys, we have a free silver ticket open now. <laughs> 
How rude says the guy who's ripping all my blaster boxes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how rude! <laughs> oh, another Jason Dominguez! <laughs> Alright, just a couple more seconds and the randomize will come up, guys. Ooh, Cowboys are on the list, huh? Okay. Packers are on the list, too. Cool. Hey Brian, uh, but in all honesty, bro, try his candy. It's really good. Uh, if you can, get that mango chili, man. Or the watermelon chili. Watermelon chili is Victoria's favorite. Mine's is, uh, probably right now I'd have to go with the mango chili. But the watermelon's really good, too. I'm trying to get him to make, like, a, a, a caramel apple that's a little bit more sweet, I guess you could say. Not so savory or smooth. But I like it. All this candy is really good, brother. The cake batter, I think it's called, or cake mix, is really, um, it's really sweet. I can see if you're really, really into candy, candy like that one. That's not my favorite, though. I really like the, the spicy ones. <laughs> if it was just butt snorkel and apple, that'd be fine. But since it's caramel apple and you said butt snorkel, I don't think that's appropriate, James. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, screen's coming up right now for the randomizer. Uh, let me get the box. Give me one second. Wouldn't it be some shit if the box wasn't even here? Just kidding. I got it. Josh, you didn't know this? How did you buy the spot? How did you get the eagles if you didn't know I have a site? Or are you talking about the candy? Bro, he does that, Bri. Oh, you guys, look, check it out. It's. Go there. Check it out. Oh, is that it? Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm for real, bro. He does. Okay, okay. You guys are distracting me. Here we go. Randomizer coming up. Let's transition to the... James, stop ripping my Bowman now. I'm starting. Okay, guys, here we go. Andrew has the Colts. Brian S. has the Bears. Davey with the Panthers. James B. with the Raiders. Sean with the Steelers. Sid with the Niners. Josh with the Eagles, Brian E with the Seahawks, Dion with the Jags, Dion with the Redskins, Bob H with the Broncos. This is supposed to be Giants. Bob H with the Giants. Giants. Stephen L with the Patriots, Davy with the Ravens, Davy with the Chiefs, James with the Cardinals. James K that is. And for our random teams, we have the Falcons, the Bills, the Bengals, the Browns, the boys are in it, Lions, Packers, Texans, Chargers, Rams, Dolphins, Vikings, Saints, Jets, Bucks, and Tennessee Titans. Five times, they'll both get randomized five times and lined up, and we'll see what we get. Mm, mm. Here we go.
One, two, three, four, and five. Cardinals on top. Okay. They're alphabetically the first two. My boy James on the bottom. There we go. Don't say anything dirty, James. I know you're thinking about it. Now back to random. Go to the list. Now all the teams, the random teams, five times. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. James, you got the Packers. Texas went to number one. And the trade window is now open. James K, you have the Texans. Dion, you got the Browns. Davey, you got the Rams. Sean, you got the Bills. Brian S, you got the boys, bruh. What are the chances? Bob H, you got the Vikings. Bob H, you got the Jets. Sid, you got the Lions. Dion, you got the Dolphins. Brian, you got Brian E, you got the Falcons. Davey, you got the Chargers. Josh, you got the Bengals. Davey, you got the Saints. Andrew, you got the Bucks. Steven, you got the Titans. And James, you got the pack. There you go, guys. Trade window open. Do what you do. <laughs> Incoming Ryan Finley. Shit, who wants lions? Ribbon! You can't do that, bro. It's sold out. We're locked in now. You're not supposed to be doing that. We had a deal. This is the contender's break. Steven, you made it. Thank you, bro. You ended up with the Titans as your random. Brian, I don't know why you're laughing. He's ripping our Bowman. <laughs> Bills for Lions. Christian. You're snoring through the computer, bro. Ryan Finley, I mean, I'm not trying to make excuses for him, but he got the short end of the stick as well, though. With everything that happened, as well as getting the number one pick. Uh oh, Brian. <laughs> Oh no, you better not go, to, go into orange comatose, bro. Bears for Titans, anybody? Atlanta for Titans? Does Titan, Titans want to give it up? Who's Titans? Steven, do you want to trade your Titans? Bengals for the Bills. Oh snap. You're trying to give up that Ryan Finley, bro? What are you thinking? I'm not allowed to answer. <laughs> Every team for <laughs> Hey, 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 James, 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 James. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You guys, we're about to rip this box because I don't want to lose any more boxes. So, huh, James, we've begun. It has begun. Huh? I ripped open the box, so he can't rip it anymore. I'm transitioning over right now. Saving the list. Golden. Alright bros, let's get it started.
Is there a good reason why college football doesn't hold value? Uh, yeah. It's a total shot in the dark, bro. I don't use it because you're over there breaking open my Bowman, so I'm just trying to get this cut open. You want a Deion Sanders auto? I think you're better off hoping to get, I don't know, something ridiculous. Because I don't think Deion signed anything for this. Oh, Barry Sanders? Did I don't think Barry, Barry signed anything for this either. Well, Deion was on the Cowboys too, brother. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm thinking Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm tripping. You win. Here we go, guys. Five autos. Feel a big New England hit. All right. We're both tripping. Tripping on some 22s. I have a feeling I'm going to pull a Tom Brady auto as well. It'll be the third pack in Tom Brady auto. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Hold on one second. Oh, shit. You guys, the top cam froze. Do you guys have a problem with that, or do you guys want me to restart? Because I could just kill the top cam real quick. Just like that. Okay. Christian, you're so close to losing your tickets, bro. So close. <laughs> Nope, I'm not losing any more blasters. Here you go, Keekly. Gordon, Cox, Haskins Rookie of the Year. For the skins. Rivers, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Earl Thomas, Johnson, Jacoby Brissett, MVP contenders, Easy E, Stefan Diggs, Juju Smith Schuster. You guys, I'm gonna fly through some of the base though. I know you guys are all experienced with these cards. So we're just really trying to get to the auto and numbered cards. Jimmy G, Joe Flacco, Josh Allen, Eli Manning winning ticket, Alvin Kamara, Nick Foles. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, Sean, <laughs> Victoria read that comment and left, laughed so loud, I heard it from the other room. Wait, why are you in protective custody if you had those gloves? That means you committed the crime, Derek Carr, you would be on the other side of it. Devin Singletary, Rookie of the Year. David Johnson and Sonny Michelle. Hey James, where's Connor? Is he with you? Connor, what's up, bro? Huh? <laughs> Von Miller. Oh, you said accomplice of informant. Cleo Mack for the contenders. Kenny and Drake. Adam Thielen. Wow. Three packs in and nothing. Aren't you guys happy you didn't buy this box for $300? Big Ben. Drew Brees, watch me hit a monster right now. Hold on. Jack Lambert Legends. James Conner. How fitting. Lily, how are you? 
I hope you're doing good. I love your candy, Lily's Lemons. It's one of my favorites. It really is. She likes hearing her name. Lily, Lily, Lily. Alshon Jeffrey. Mark Ingram. Kenny Galladay. Rookie of the Year contenders, Miles Sanders. <laughs> That's perfect. Leonard Fournette and Larry Fitzgerald. Hey James, is the Drew Lock from here? Uh, going for a lot? Yeah, I did pull Miles Sanders, Marlon Mack, Dante Pettis, Cortland Sutton. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Into the keyboard, Saquon Barkley. Christian McCaffrey. Maybe it's a good thing we haven't gotten an auto yet. Maybe that means something big is lurking. The whole right side had no auto. That's pretty interesting, actually. Things like that make me curious as to what's going on. When stuff like that happens, it's either really good or really bad, so... Jordan Reed. I've noticed, at least from my breaking, when I see weird things like that happen, something really big happens, or it's a total skunk, so... Round numbers for the Giants. Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson. Second stack. But how much is it from this product? I saw. I had it on my watch list. Aaron Donald. Here we go. Michael Dixon for the Sea Chickens. Rookie card for the kicker. Auto. Now this is very, very different because I have yet to see a rookie kicker auto anywhere. Now I can understand Vinatieri or like, yeah, punter. He's a punter. I know, but I've never seen a rookie, rookie auto for a, a kicker at all. Brian, have you? Other than this guy? There we go. Well, Seahawks on the board. You must be one hell of a kicker if you got an auto. Rookie auto. Like, the only thing I can, um, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm asking, Josh. The only thing I could think of is a while back ago, maybe four years ago. Maybe you guys can, um, what's 1400 graded? Get out of here. The only um, punter I could think of is, maybe you guys know this a while back, go to the football. Hi, right, Brian. Sounds good. Yeah, that's true, Miguel. Leighton Vanderish, CJ Mosley. For the Bengals... Out of 99, 42 of 99, Travion Williams. Bengals on it. <laughs> $14. What looked like a variation that uh, kicked the picture? The Seahawks auto? I don't know. Um, no. You could tell if, if it's a variation by inside that thing, if it's the helmet or the other one, I believe, right? If it's a helmet there, then it's the variation, as opposed to the logo. Yeah. No? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay, helmet. But it's kind of weird that they would do the variations in this product when... Um, I mean... Football honestly isn't really well known for like you catch these variations. Oh, that's cool. This is cool. That's more like a baseball thing in my opinion or a hockey thing. So I don't think too many people knew about that. But I'm sure you guys know because you guys are far more informed than, uh, than the common people. Should have traded me the bills. But what I was saying a while back ago, there was this uh, thing. It was uh, like a NFL competition. And it was all these rookies and stars. And they're like... Um, 
Holy shit, are you shitting me? No, I didn't. What are the chances? Is that an auto? Is that an auto? Are you for real, Sid? Sid? Are you pulling me a Mosaic Genesis or what? You guys understand, this kid, this kid was trying to give everyone the lions. No one wanted him. I love Sid. You're my bro. bro. Little bro, he, this is for you. You better pull me a mosaic, mosaic Genesis, bro. We then we will be even. What is this? Eight of ten, bro. Make that money, bro. Make that money. Eight of ten. Barry Sanders auto, Silver Dome rookie ticket, autograph. Holy shit, that's sick as hell. Nice. Oh no, we're having camera issues. Oh no. Hey, Sid, I'm not gonna one-touch this. You do your research and figure out if you want me to one-touch this or not. People are split-minded on how they want to do it. This is a very gradable card as it sits right now. The corners are clean as hell. Like, these corners are clean as hell, bro. The edges are very sharp. I honestly would not take it out the top loader. I'd just leave it just like this right now. It was all a joke until it was pulled, right, Josh? Congrats, brother. Congrats, my friend. Sid. No, it's not on card. Does it need to be on card with Barry Sanders? I think you're fine getting a sticker from him, bro. I think you're fine getting a sticker from Mr. Barry Sanders. Shoot. Sid. When do you break the mosaic now? Julio Jones. Tyrell Williams. Nice for the Cardinals. Here we go. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you guys? If one half looks weird, the other half's gonna be a monster or a dud. Like it's not gonna be no average pack. I told you this. I called it, bro. Hakeem Butler on card auto for the Cardinals. Miguel, you went to school with Barry Sanders? You old fart. Just messing with you, Miguel. <laughs> Sid, did you pass out? I think I think either Sid is scouring the internet for comps right now, or he passed out. That might have been the best card I've pulled from yet. Patty Mahomes. And Jared Goff. Sid, before you do comp check, when are you breaking Mosaic? Yeah, you're not gonna find a comp for something that low numbered, bro. You're just gonna have to come up with a good number. Sid, you better buy more spots, foo. On Thursday, right? It breaks on Thursday? The day it comes in? I, I'm gonna ship out on the day after the break, depending on what you pull me. <laughs> George Kittle. Oh, cool. Uh, Trace McSorley. And Jacksonville Jaguars, Gardner Minshew. We can roll for this, or one of you guys can give it up. It doesn't matter to me. You don't pull me no Zion's. I'm keeping the Barry Sanders, Babby, Bobby Wagner, Keenan Allen. 
I just broke the. I just got the best card Sid has ever gotten out of a box of cards, and he did not want the lions. Let that be a lesson to you, Sid. You never know what can hit. Every team has an all-star, a legend. All you need, all you need, is one of those legends' autos, and it's over. What? Lily pulled one. That's awesome, Lily. <laughs> Freddy, what's up, brother? He just hit really big, man. Easy E. Carson Wentz. Lamar Jackson, sophomore year. How fitting on a golden break night. What do you guys think's in that golden box? Chase Winovich and Damian Harris. Devontae Adams. AJ Green. I'm happy for him, bro. That's that's how it should be. People should get good shit. Panini should try to do that at least once in every four or five boxes at least. So that way, 25% of their people are like big winners. But it's sad that we have to come to breaking 20 or 30 boxes before we hit a monster. We just get lucky and pull the right box. Dom Kinsu and Tyreek Hill. Sid, I'm only going to send you the card if you take a picture of the card with you and send it to me. I want to see your smiling face. I'm going to put it in my commercial. Thank you, brother. Gary on Connolly. Oh, we got some shiny shiny. What is this shiny shiny going on over here? Oh, some shiny shiny, huh? Let's see. Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 it's not over. Charles Tillman. Todd Gurley. Well, I flipped that upside down. That was my fault. Here we go. Oh. For the Redskins, though, 62 and 99. Super shiny. Not the variation. Josh Norman, quarterback. Cornerback, sorry. Ah, man, I thought it was going to be an auto. Still, cool card, bro. Very cool card. Last pack. We have what? One, two, three. We have four autos. Clumpers, I put that on just for you, bro. You guys, now I'm not ripping the last pack. That's it. You guys keep making fun of my music. First you say jazz, then you say no jazz, then you say this jazz. <laughs> I don't want to imagine that. <laughs> this pack sits there until I get a compliment. No, I'm changing the music now because I don't want to be on here with porn music in case someone comes in and they're like, what the hell is going on? There's nothing but dudes in this chat. And they're listening to 90s porno. Oh my god. What just came on? Let me try something different, though. I want to listen to some, uh... I don't know if you guys know who this guy is. Alright, here we go. Last pack, brothers! Adrian Peterson, Matt Ryan, ooh, okay, 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 Tree Cohen, Le'Veon Bell, oh nice, Danny Dimes, and Julian Love for the Giants, there you go Giants. Not a bad box at all, guys. Hey, 
Hey, let's go over the hits. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I told you, said I'm holding it hostage till I get a Zion. <laughs> Danny Dimes rookie, Lamar Jackson sophomore, Gardner Minshew rookie, Miles Sanders rookie, Devin Singletary rookie, Dwayne Haskins rookie, Josh Norman 62 and 99. Our autos, Hakeem Butler. Okay, Christian, you just lost both of your tickets. Get out of here. 8 of 10 for the Lions. Michael Dixon for the Seahawks. 42 of 99 for the Bengals. And Julian Love, rookie for the Giants. <laughs> you and your orange comatose ass. We're going to roll for this. Odd goes to Jacksonville. Even goes to Ravens. Hi, Brian. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Odd uh, goes to Jacksonville. There you go, Jacksonville. I could drop that in there for you. Usually I don't do um, base inserts, but if you guys want it, I can. I generally try to send you guys things of value. That's really not a hit or anything. I think I have like 10 of them sitting in my box. But I can send it to you, brother. Not a problem. Just one card. If you guys want your inserts, too, I'll send the inserts. Let me know. The In the beginning, it's cool to get all these cards, but then what happens is you're going to go a year, two years, three years deep, and you're going to have boxes and boxes of that. And you're not never going to get around to listing it on eBay. You're never going to get to do anything with it. The best you'll ever do with it is give it to some kid. And honestly, when that kid gets Russell Wilson, he probably won't even know who Russell Wilson is. So, that's just been my experience with it. That was a commercial, my bad. My bad. Alright guys, it's 9.07. You guys ready to do the golden break? We ready to rock and roll? Okay, Miguel. Uh, so what time tomorrow are we going to do it? Miguel wants to do it tomorrow, so we could do it at like... Um, let's do it at midnight tomorrow. Ha! I knew he was going to say something like that. Alright, we're going to go. I'm going to put these cards away real quick. And then we're about to break this open. James, James, you play too much, man. I hope you never get lucky again now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is definitely not PG. This is definitely not PG. Oh shit, that's hilarious. Well, I mean, if duty calls, bro. All the big Brian, all the biggest hits Sid has right now is me. You're not unlucky, Sid. Shut up, bro. You just sold Madison not too long ago that I pulled you. You got 101s from Vikings. You're not unlucky. Unlucky my ass. You're lucky that you met me. 
that's the end of the story right there. Your luck was good right there. You ran good. <laughs> Honey, can you come here? This crazy bitch Patsy is texting me. Can you check what she wants? Alright, here we go guys. To the screen we go. I apologize. Yeah, uh, we're just going to stay in, Chris, to be honest. Hey, I actually like Kenny G, Dan. Hi, guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, wait, do we? You know, let's play this. This is, sounds like a good song. This is beyond a cool right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read off the tickets. Chris S., you have Golden Ticket. Charles H., Golden Ticket. James D., Golden Ticket. Josh H., Golden Ticket. Jeff, you have a Golden Ticket. Dion D, Golden Ticket, Sid, Golden Ticket, Stephen L, Golden Ticket, Davey, Golden Ticket, Clumpers, Golden Ticket, Christian V, Golden Ticket, Brian S, Golden Ticket, Tim L, Golden Ticket, Zach R, Golden Ticket, James B, GT, Corey, GT, Mike, Miguel, GT, Christian, ST, Silver Ticket, Michael M, Silver Ticket, Andrew, ST, Brian S, ST, Charles H, ST, James B, ST. Zach R S T, Miguel M S T, Daniel H S T, Kevin H S T, Robert H S T, Jeff H S T, Kyle C S T, Brian E S T, Josh H S T. Wow. Okay. Five times you get randomized. Five times. Control X. Did I say you had a silver? Did I miss it on the silver? Huh? You didn't? I didn't? Let's see. Sid, I think I may have missed your silver and didn't tell the wife. I will compensate you with a better one. Don't worry. Yeah, he has a golden ticket for sure, but I, I'm sure I said I, he got a silver ticket. Maybe you didn't write it down. It was another. I'm pretty sure I wrote it. I'm sure I wrote it. Victoria apologizes. Sid, don't worry, we'll take care of you, bro. Here we go, five times. Maybe you'll just hit a monster anyways. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Plus, you just got a $500 card. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't an earned silver ticket. Five times for the teams. But I did tell you you were going to get one, and that is my bad. So don't worry, brother. I'll take care of you. Five times. Let's go. Good luck, everybody. One. Two, three, four, and five. I was going to say, what are the chances? It went Arizona Cardinals, Atlanta Falcons right off the bat, one and two. But then it went Green Bay, Tennessee, and all that other crap, so we're good. Control C. And our teams are as stated. Here we go. 
Josh H. picks up the Cardinals. Daniel H. picks up the Falcons. Charles picks up the Packers. Clumpers picks up the Titans. We have Andrew H. with the Jaguars. Michael M. with the Broncos. Zach R. with the Dolphins. Jeff H. with the Seahawks. Josh H. with the Bills. Robert H. with the Jets. Corey with the Chargers. Tim L. with the Giants. Steven with the Cowboys. Jeff H. with the Colts. Brian S. with the Saints. Kevin H. with the Steelers. Davey with the Redskins. Zach with the Vikings. Kyle C. with the Ravens. Chris S. with the Rams. Charles H. with the Eagles. James B. with the Browns. Dion with the Lions. Brian S. with the Texans. James D. with the Bucks. Brian E. with the Patriots. Miguel with the Bears. Wow, Sid got the Niners again. Christian with the Raiders. Miguel with the Bengals. James, you got the Chiefs, brother. And Christian with the Panthers. Check it out, guys. The list is too long to be on one page. I'm going to zoom out. You might have to zoom in to check them all. Trade window is now open. This is not cool. This is not what I thought it was. Oh, this one might be, though. Yeah, this one's cool. Uh, Christopher, there is no difference between the two. It's just a tracking method, so I can know if you have a gold, you can't get another gold. So once you get the silver, you're filled up. Because if I just did tickets, I would keep track of. I would lose track of tickets. But obviously, I can't keep track of anything, anyone. Anyways. Texans and Saints. Alright, I'm switching over to the screen, guys. <laughs> you don't want Matt Ryan. <laughs> okay, we got a deal struck up. Charles is going to give Brian the Eagles. Where is the Eagles? Here's the Eagles. For Brian's two teams, Brian has the Texans and the Saints. Okay. What? Huh? Golf? Golf? Golf cards? I thought golf was the hobby. Why do you need a hobby for a hobby? <laughs> What's up, Tim? How's it going, brother? Corey, yes, you picked up the Chargers. Tim, you got the Giants, bro. Wow, that's cool. I didn't even know that existed, Sean. Sid, Miguel's trading the Bears for the Niners if you want it. Hey, Brian's like the guy who started with the paperclip and ends up with a half a million dollar house. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out, Sean. I will. One day, she was sitting on a dining table and doing her homework. Suddenly, she kind of collapsed. All right, here we go. Rams for trade, anybody? Anybody want the Rams? 
<laughs> Dan is upselling the shit out of those two. <laughs> okay, we're gonna roll, guys. It's locked in. Let me show you the screen one more time so Brian can verify. We're making sure we're all good. I'm gonna save it and then we're gonna start. Here you go. Brian, S with the Eagles. You have nothing here. Charles, you got the Saints and Texans here, brother. It's kind of like a death sentence. File, save this. Alright, here we go. Oh wow, I'm nervous. I've never broken this before, guys. Oh my god. If I get a Jerry Rice, if if I pull a Jerry Rice auto, I'm not sending that to you, Sid. You're not getting a Jerry Rice auto and a Barry Sanders auto in one day. I'm going to hold it for a month. I'm going to take pictures with it. I might take it to bed with me. I might put it in my little shrine for a little bit. It'll be a month before you get a Jerry Rice auto from me. Oh, same goes for Joe Montana. Where is my box cutter at though, yo? Open what, James? This? We gotta build anticipation a little bit. Don't you see? It says four autos and six mem cards. What's your rush? Where are you going? And you better not say to open blaster boxes. You better not say to open blaster boxes. Oh, to bed. Okay, fair enough. Man still gets sleep. No! <laughs> Why did I say anything? Here we go, guys. This thing has four chunky packs. Yeah, I guess it's what? One of them has two mems, and all of them have one auto? Oh, hell no. Average at best. Sean, I'm not going to pull you anything now. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Good luck. Man. Right? <laughs> Quickest way to lose a spot. Be Christian or talk about the Niners. <laughs> oh, man. Um, should I give my little speech now? <laughs> Oh, nice. This is so fun. This is so dope right here, guys. Josh Jacobs rookie card out of 60. Super thick card. For the Raiders. Josh, how are your eyes so fast? 31 to 60. Ah, nothing but love. And seriously, guys, I do have a little bit to say afterwards, so if you guys just hang around after the cards, I'd really appreciate it. James White for the Patriots. Nice patch. I know. 187 of 199. But, and it helps that there's not too many green teams, right? Green and yellow. Other than, yeah, there's no other green team, actually. Green and yellow, there's green teams. For the Saints, Archie Manning, Epic Legends for the Saints. 39 and 99, good trade from Charles already. And our hit for the boys, for the pack, sorry. 5 of 15, guys, this is 5 of 15 for the pack. Aaron Jones for the Packers. 5 of 15 right there. Congrats, Pack. Starting off hot. Uh, 
Uh, I'll even allow trades afterwards once you guys know what you guys have. Just gotta keep track of what you have. Really? That's cool. Doesn't she get free tickets? Alright. Zach! You did not miss it. I don't know who your team is, though. I'll check for you real quick. Only because I like you. You're a good guy. You have the Vikings, brother, and the Dolphins. No hits yet. Alright, here we go. Second pack. Real quick, guys. Honestly, this month has been awesome. I appreciate all your guys' support. This is serious note. I know we're pulling hits and we have a lot of fun and everything, but you guys are awesome. All you guys are awesome. Not just in this community, but just awesome people, and I'm glad to have met all of you. So it's an honor for me to be able to do this for you guys. I appreciate all you guys very much, and I hope that we just keep getting bigger and bigger. Man, I really do appreciate it so much. Like, I, I words cannot express how cool all of you guys are. You really are family, brothers. You're all family. Jets, Trayvon Wesco right here. Die cut rookie. This is numbered out of fifth, 50. 4 of 50. That's cool, right? I don't know what it's supposed to be. You guys see, look, like the comments like that, man. You guys make me so happy. Thank you, brothers. And we're going to get better and better. We're going to break bigger and stuff. Man, I'm already thinking about next month how I can find a way to, to fund a national treasure break for us, guys. Because how dope would it be to do one of this with national treasures for us? Seriously, man. I want to get these little golden breaks up to a full case. <laughs> Chest pound. Yeah, bro. Connor, too, man. Connor does so much. Like, all you guys, your kids, your families, everybody is such a huge help. I, like, I get teared up thinking about it. Like, I, I get choked up, man. You guys are, you guys are, you guys are fucking awesome. There's no other way to put it. Marshawn Lynch for the Raiders. 18 to 25. <laughs> Damn. Thank you, Miguel. I appreciate you. We got it for the Patriots. I think this is a patch, though. Bro, Josh, that National Treasures for Basketball is absolutely insane. What? Did we put heater after heater? Who's this? Who is this? Wow. Heaters after heaters. I love this product. I don't even have a car. Oh, this is fitting. Let's use this. Stidham, this is out of 199 for the Patriots. 35 of 199. Nice rookie quarterback. You know you love the product when every card has to be sleeved. A box of National Treasures for football right now is up to 1300 or 1200. A box of National Treasures for basketball, I think, is it's four, so 8,000, 8, 16, 24, 32. Or 7,500. Roger Staubach for the boys. With the Super Bowl champion auto. This is the Super Bowl champion auto right here. Nine of ten on the Staubach. A little dinged on this corner right here though, but... It's not even dinged. It's actually white. It's whitening. Still a clean card. Right? For the Cowboys right there, man. Boom. I need a big old, big old boy for that one. Let me get the other one in a top letter, too. Glad I got these big old top loaders. Basketball is dumb. <laughs> Damn. Here we go. Pack number three. Oh, no. That's super thick. Pack number four. We'll come back to three. Cut a deal. Start talking it up. As long as it's no monetary deals, I cannot make monetary deals. You guys have to do that on your own. 
I cannot be liable for that. Oh, we got a patch auto here. Ooh, and a pink Ray Lewis. Die cut for the Ravens. Super chunky card. Number to 20. Number 3 of 20 for the Ravens. I'm trying, James. I'm trying. You put too much pressure on me. Oh, here we go for the Titans. AJ Brown, Rookie Aura. 10 of 50. Super short print numbers, guys. That's a dope looking card right there though. Right? That looks like uh, something you color in with uh, one of those adult coloring books. For the Raiders, Josh Jacobs. Numbered out of 199 for the Raiders. It's because you ripped all my Bowman, James. <laughs> Second X Life. What's wrong with the first one? What'd you trade her for? And our hit. He sees why he's in protective custody. Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings. Super chunky patch right there. IS Jr. with the pink auto. Number 2 of 25 for the Vikings, for Zach. Zach just got some fire. Last pack, everybody. Good luck. Don't do it, James. Don't do it, James. Don't do it, James. Oosh. We got a redemption. We got a redemption. Don't say that, James. Play fair, bro. <laughs> Mike Singletary for the Bears. Marino redemption. <laughs> Devin Singletary is a very big possibility, actually. <laughs> Whoa, nice. No offense. With the chunky patch, chunky patch, and the color striping right there. For the Broncos, 14 of 25 on the no offense. Guesses on the redemption, guys? Guesses on the redemption? Derek Henry for the Titans. 77 of 99 for the Derek Henry. OJ Simpson. For what team though? The Niners? OJ Simpson for the Niners. Lamar Jackson. It could be a Patrick Mahomes too. I mean, I wouldn't see Mahomes signing too many things during the start, but maybe. We never know. Let's see. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Radiant Rookie Patch Signatures. It is... I just want to say, guys. You guys are awesome. Really, really are. Thank you so much. Marquise Hollywood Brown for the Ravens. There we go. Ravens killed it. Huh? Marquise doesn't sound crap. That's the reason why you shouldn't be opening that Bowman, James. Oh, you're welcome, guys. I am sorry if he didn't pull anything. I am so sorry, guys. Hopefully, we can make it up. We still have Chronicles. Hopefully, we can break that tomorrow. Sit. I'm going to ban you from the channel. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome very, very much. These cards will be out. Corey, you're welcome. Everybody's, you're very welcome, all of you. 
These cards will be out shortly. Um, hopefully we can get the... I gotta get all the eBay taken care of tomorrow. It's gonna be my first basketball break, guys. That was an expensive break, yes. It was very expensive. But it's okay. It's... it's. I love it. Thank you, guys. I hope so, too. So tomorrow... A bag of lentils. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're welcome, brother. Steven, let me check for you. Guys, this is just a little request from me. Um, personal request. If you guys could, if you guys have time, uh, I have a lot of basketball breaks going down on eBay tomorrow, and I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done basketball before. The last time I did baseball, um, the regulars didn't really come, and I don't blame them. But what ended up happening is, for the first time ever, I actually went negative. Like, not the first time I got a loss. I've had losses before. Let's say a case costs a thousand, and I make like a thousand five hundred. After everything comes down, I'll basically break even or get close to just a hundred over. For the first time ever, when I broke basketball, I put in seven fifty to get all the boxes. I barely made six hundred dollars, and then I still have to pay fees on that. I have a theory that if you guys just go and watch the listings, at least just a couple of listings, just hit the watch button, it'll bump my listings up higher. So if you guys could just do that, I would really appreciate it, if you have time today. And Stephen L, yes, you do have the Cowboys, my friend. That Roger Staubach is yours. Zach pulled out Irv Smith Jr. That was sweet. But it's all locked here, guys. I hope you guys could see it. Transmission over. Further out. Don't put it on the cards. Be careful. It's not gonna lie down. You don't want to show your face. You don't want to show your face, Papa. We tried, guys. We'll get the overhead cam going next time, and then you guys can see see baby's face. We want to do a little face reveal, but it's all good. <laughs> we'll get the overhead cam going, and all you regulars can see the baby. Because Tori's been wanting you guys to see baby girl. Uh, uh. Say thank you to everybody. Say thank you, everybody. Say thank you, uncles. Thank you, uncles. Thank you for supporting our family. Yeah? You're clapping for them? Hi, right, Dan. Take care, brother. I appreciate you guys very, very much. I had a lot of fun, guys. I'll go ahead and get these cards sorted out. Yes, we're very close, Zach. Uh, yeah, so it will go down tomorrow. Yes, I am your dad, 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 dad. We have how many spots left? Six spots left in the mosaic first off the line tomorrow. Panini score is not even close to breaking, Davy. I don't know, I might have to uh, figure out something else. I might throw that in with something else. The prices are dirt cheap, too. It's like... There's teams for $17 and $5 and like $15 and $10. Don't nobody want anything. I don't blame them. I guess they don't like score. What was it that you're looking for? The Mike Singletary? All the cards are numbered, brother. Let me check what it's numbered to. In this product, every card is numbered. And the highest is $199. The lowest is the one on ones of course. Mike Singletary was numbered to $99, bro. I can't get it to focus. Yeah, it's 99. Oh, my bad, brother. Oh, yeah. 99. Uh, I think, Steve, I don't know. If you guys aren't on, my, on our Facebook, guys, please join. You guys are part of AV family. That's how I make sure all of my regulars be getting stuff all the time. I don't like missing out. 
This time I had some open tickets. I was able to get some of the regulars in with open tickets even though they weren't on Facebook and they weren't paying attention. I dropped a little bit of hints here next for some people. You know who you people are. Next time just join Facebook and then I can just make sure all my regulars get in on a free break. So I don't have to go around making sure that strangers don't try to... Because honestly the ticket is up there for everybody. If some stranger comes up and starts making multiple accounts and stuff... You know, it kind of messes with stuff, I, and I really do this to reward my buddies, so. Or, uh, Davey, you don't want to do some basketball, bro? We have the first off the line going down tomorrow. Or the two box chronicles for basketball, or for football. Rippin', you're a fool. You should have been on Facebook. <laughs> Don't bang your head, kid. It's not my hands. Here. She's ready to start working. Yeah, she wants to start breaking cards already. She's like right at the computer. Davy, um, I know normally basketball is expensive, but. Just do yourself a favor and check off my first off the line price, bro. Ah, that's true. But just check it out. Because remember, first off the line, it's a $1,000 box, bro. They're selling for $1,400. There's spots on there for like $40, $50, bucks, I think. So. Someone already bought uh, the Team USA one. Oh, someone bought Team USA? Yeah. That was dirt cheap. Yeah, I was, that was wondering. The cheapest one. I was wondering when someone was going to get that. That was so smart. Because if you get a couple of oranges or pinks or even a. If your pink swirl comes out Team USA, you just made $500 off of 30 so... And that's happened already. James, no! Don't do it. 76ers are cheap, and you get another team with it, and... Honestly, if you get a pink swirl or a green swirl for any team on any player, you're gonna make $100 at least. These boxes... Uh, they're not available. They're up on auction right now, bro. The hangers are available. 80 ripped and shipped for the hangers. Two available. We have four you could pick from, but only two to break. Someone's wide awake now. James, come back. Don't rip anymore. Yeah, we're hanging. Does anybody want to buy some Chronicles spots? We'll rip that open next if you guys want to. I saved that Gypsy Queen Mega Box for you, Bri. I'll do, uh... I'll hook you up with the price when we get the Bowman from, uh, what's his name? James. Since he's over there ripping all our crap open. James, stop ripping it. You're not gonna find another Jason Dominguez. Just take the profit you're getting from me. I don't know if we'll be able to fill out Chronicles tonight, Miguel, but uh, we could definitely do it tomorrow if you guys are game. Buy some spots up tonight and tomorrow. I mean, if you guys really fill it up tonight, we'll do it tonight. Bri, I'll hook you up 75 ripped and ship. I know I said 80 yesterday. I said 90 for both of them or 80 for that. But I'll do 75 ripped and ship for you, brother. I think that's cheaper than you'll anywhere you'll find anywhere else you will find right now. But let me know if you find something else cheaper, and I'll try to price match it if I can, brother.
This one is 80 Zach, the hangar, ripped and shipped. This is on auction, brother. Do I have more boxes of Chronicle? Yeah, I have two more boxes of Chronicle. I have two on the site and I have two more boxes. Right, Tori? I think so, yeah. I got four somewhere. Yeah, I have four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I got four boxes. <laughs> You want to do it, Bri? All right, brother. It's yours. Go ahead and shoot it over whenever you can. Friends and family, please. I know, Josh. I have that fire pricing, bro. No, nobody beat me. Really? Do you guys know from Gypsy Queen, just from the blaster boxes, I pulled, I had 10 blaster boxes, I pulled 4 autos out of there, one was a Gavin Lux, one was a Boba Shet. I pulled a Dustin May, and one of Estrada, which is a meh. I've had really good luck with Gypsy Queen, man. I love Gy Gypsy Queen. All right, brother. Sounds good. One sec. What'd you guys have for dinner today? It really is the luck of the draw, though. You're right. It really is. Like, actually, with Gypsy Queen, I will take blasters all day long. All right. I'll read back to Gypsy Queen. Oops, got the wrong box. A big old chunky box though. Um, mm, that sounds hella good right now. Uh, Bry hits right. Hits only. That's cool. Ooh, damn! Egg rolls sound hella good too. I've been wanting some. I've been wanting some dumplings ever since Brian showed me those pictures though. I saw those pictures on his Instagram. Where's my knife at, yo? One second, brother. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Okay, sounds good, brother. The only inserts in here are the... The tarot card and the fortune teller, so... Shouldn't be too many... They shouldn't be loading you up with a whole bunch of inserts on here. Tori, do you know where my box header went, babe? Oh yeah, you're right. Did you say I know? What? Smart ass. Bazooka backs, yeah, of course. Those are hits. That's a hit, bro. That's like one in only a couple hundred packs. I think the smallest is one in 80 packs or 90 packs. Yeah. I don't think that's an insert. I don't count that as an insert, at least. To me, that's a hit. I get equally happy if I see a bazooka back. Ooh. All right, Steven. Sounds good, brother. A lot of packs. And they give you this foam filler on the bottom. Can you see that? That's kind of weird. Oh my god, a bazooka back auto. You know, if you get a bazooka back auto, that'll only be like numbered out of 10, bro. That'll be a numbered one. That'll be a numbered variation out of 10, a bazooka back auto. It'll probably have like a one other thing too. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro, that'll be wick. That'll be wicked. Here we go. First pack. Let the mess begin. Last day, uh, Crawford. We'll go, uh, back hunting afterwards, okay? Nicholas, I mean after each pack, so we don't have to keep turning every time. Yamamoto rookie. Jordan Yamamoto. We'll take that. Alright, I'll chill out for you. No bazooka back. Zach, what's up? You want a hanger? Pack number two, bro. Not a logo swap. Ask the deal. Korea. It depends what I'm eating, actually, Josh. Boba shit for a uh, tarot card rookie. There we go. I like that. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good actually. The mod Modelo Especial. A friend brought it over and left it. It's pretty good. But I'm still a Corona fan though. I like barbecue and Corona. I like putting a, a, a lime in my Corona with a little bit of a hot sauce. I know it's weird. Like a, just a hit a tapatio or something. Or Tabasco. What are you drinking? Modelo Especial? Nice. Or just Modelo? It's all good, Zach. No worries, brother. Arrows Arena. Rookie. Cole. Beavers. Lambert. Dixon. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Miguel. And plus, they've been advertising a lot harder, too, than Krona has. And they got, like, the big names. Or am I thinking of the other one? No, I'm thinking about the other one. The other one has Canelo Alvarez and has their spokesman or something. Castro. Bellinger. Trout. Let's hope that's a bazooka back. Lorenzen. More John Rookie. And Long. No bazooka back. Was it Takata or was it Dos Equis? Are they are they openly traded? Okay. Ah, Takata, Tuk there you go. Ryu, Bauer, Ramirez, Sanchez, Tice, Rookie, and Real Mudo. JT real, real Mudo. <laughs> Iglesias. Cindergard. Bradley. Aaron Judge Tarot. Man, I wish there was a black back tarot. Yeah! Tatis Jr. I'll put that one there. And Otani. I think you'll take that one too, right? No bazooka back in those. Am I right in thinking you'll take those? Uh... Man, it'd be sweet to get an Otani bazooka back.
Maryfield, Jimenez, not Eloy, Ursula. I did, let me check, give me a second. Schrauber, Bradley, and Alexander. Give me one sec, bro. But a charity fight, though. Oh, Bradley, I'm sorry. You're right. Bradley was right on top. A charity fight, though, Josh. Uh, I don't think you'd kill him, but I think he would win. But current state, I don't think you can ever just knock down someone who had that much rage in him at one point. Let that man wake up, he'll hurt somebody. But I think Fury would beat the shit out of him. He wouldn't kill him. He would not kill him. He's an ex-champ. You know that man holds his own. You gotta hold your own after that, bro. You didn't become the youngest heavyweight champion in the world and not hold your own. AJ Puck, rookie. Put that to the side. Valoria. Judge. This over here. Eshelman. Ramos. And Baez, rookie. Put both your rookies over on this side. Who, Tyson? Tyson been hit a lot, of course. Of course, bro. You don't get you don't get that much popularity, that much fame, that many titles by not being hit a lot. You can be the prettiest boy out there. Other than Floyd Mayweather, you got popped. And that's why Floyd Mayweather was not very exciting. Even though he was tactically good. Tyson like to see Tyson Tyson Fury or Mike Tyson? Bryce Harper. I'll put that over there. Haynes, Springer, Arez, Ray, and Mangini. Oh, you like Floyd? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Floyd. I feel like... I mean, I have a lot of opinions on, on, on Floyd. I feel like... He was technically a good boxer, and yeah, he's smart in figuring out how to have won, but he did a lot of negative for the sport, and not in reputation or anything, but he killed a lot of hype. And that to me was, that was really, really important. Because guys like me, you guys, we could sit there and watch a dull fight and understand the, the thing of it, but it's the same reason why people don't watch NBA basketball for all the games until they get to the finals. And... Watching a uh, Floyd Mayweather fight was always such a huge letdown because he played well. He did his part well. He did what he had to do to win. But that's not what people wanted to see. So the reason he was selling so many tickets was because people just wanted to see him get knocked out. They wanted to see the first loss Floyd Mayweather would get. And he was a great businessman against that. Yeah, I don't think his hits hurt too much either, to be honest. Lin Mayhew, King Green. I think his his uh, his daddy hit harder, or uh, his uncle. Yeah, his daddy and his uncle both hit harder. Cruz, Arietta, Hendricks, and Degrom. Bazooka back check. Thank you so much, Broilum. It is great to be back in London, 2012. He did land square and solid. I will not take that away from him. He did. That's that's what comes with speed. But was there power behind that? It was not the same power. It was that he would frustrate frustrate the crap out of people. And you keep taking shots like that. I don't care how many rounds you take shots like that. Eventually, they will build up. Shots do build up. And he was a conditioned beast. That's what he is. You ain't slowing him down because you ain't hitting him. So all he has to do is get around the get around in the ring. I agree with the uh, Miguel. I think he beat Manny too. But yeah, I think it was a terrible fight. And I think it was... I think Manny was extremely frustrated. And we got blue coming up, guys. I think Manny got a little bit frustrated, too. Because he underestimated how annoying that would be. And he was preparing for someone who fought like that. But he wasn't preparing for how mentally annoyed he would be. Going through that repeatedly. And getting frustrated by that. And that in itself is something. Giolito. Menatendi. Williams. And our blue... Luis Castillo out of 250. 66 of 250. Almost his number on the card. He's 249. 
But was that Floyd's fault? That's not Floyd's fault. Floyd did what he had to do to win. He knows where he's going to win. Robles, Mazzara, why do something if you're not going to try to win? So you got to do what you got to do. So do I blame him? No. That's how he made his money. He became a millionaire doing this. People kept paying for it. If you don't want to see that, then don't watch those fights. It's that simple. But he is a businessman too. He understands. People want to see him get knocked out. Yeah, that's why he got the points, in my opinion. Because he hit, it was solid. But does it do damage? I don't feel like it does much damage. It slows you down and annoys the shit out of you, which is damage in its own sense. But I guess it means what do you think damage is, right? Again, that's frustration. That's frustration, Miguel. That's all it is. Keller. Peralta. Kikuchi. I'm going to put that for this, to the side for you. Oh, there we go. Acuna Jr. insert. This is the fortune, ter uh, fortune teller. Bernard Grichuk. Well, who doesn't want... Who doesn't... You don't become rich by having nothing but fans. You have to have haters, right? That's just how it is. If you're successful, you'll have haters, and he had haters. I mean, I don't like the guy, but I, don't, I can't say I necessarily hate him. I, I hate... I hate other things that he's done to it, but... He just fought to win, bro. And yeah, if you don't like someone, I think the best thing you could do is, like Brian said, don't pay for that shit. You'll get it free later on if you're patient. Pay for what you want to see. Oh, nice. Gavin Lux rookie. Man, I was so happy I paid for the... It's so long since we've had a heavyweight division like we have. I was so happy to pay for that. For, um... Who no uh, God, why can't I think of his name right now? My Mexican homie knocked out AJ uh, Joshua. No, my Mexican. No, not. They're not even in the same league, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. God. Miguel's gonna answer me right now. Yes. Thank you. Zach answered me. Thank you. Duffy. Soto. Mankato. Chapman. Scherzer. Danny Duffy. Juan Soto, Yohan Mankata, Matt Chapman, Scherzer. Yeah, same. Same thing you said, Brian. That's how I feel about him. Exactly how I feel. I think he's a great technical fighter. Did he bring much more to the sport? No. Did he bring that hype? No. People wanted to see him lose. He kind of centered it on himself. M much of boxing didn't do well around him other than him. So, yeah, I get it. Look out for number one. But still, I... I was like, come on, man. You gotta... In the age where the sport is dying, and I love this sport, but we don't have as much kids watching it. We don't have people who understand the subtleties. It's just like... Oh, Sid, you have a good one, brother. Try to sleep, okay? Oh, nice! We got a blue! Mike Trout, numbered out of 250! I have yet to pull this! I mean, I would agree with you to a certain degree, Josh, but then Josh, uh, when you're fighting for championship, it also becomes very much instinctual, it also becomes very much pride, it also becomes a lot of heart. So, uh, when he fights, it's technical, but it devoids those other things. So people want to see, no, not just a brawl match, no, it's not just a brawl match. It could be any any good fighter, but they want to see people going for the knockout. They want to see people going for that kill. The audience themselves don't think a judge's decision is the same as, as a knockout. So when they see someone who doesn't want a knockout, that itself kind of, I think, deters people. So everyone roots to get this guy knocked out. That's essentially what happens. You don't knock the guy out, we want to see you get knocked out. Tyson didn't get into a brawl. He, he picked his spots. He would get in. He was the fastest burst to get under a punch and blast your liver to the point where your legs no longer work. That was skill. That was tactic. And people loved watching it. His tactic was just something else. And it was not very appealing to a lot of people. I think that's the biggest disconnect. People just don't understand that. Boxing is technical. There's a lot of technicality to it. There's a lot of other stuff to it too. He just decided to focus on one spot. You can do this in boxing. You can be an all-around good boxer and provide decent fights and not have a good record. Or you can choose one really good skill, hone in on it, 
and make that your thing. And he honed in on being tactical. Speed and everything else went with that. But him being tactical, that's why he got the speed for. That's what he got the accuracy for. Because he understood early on, this is how I'm going to win. You come with the game plan. And same with Tyson. And same with GGG. And same with Canelo. You guys, these guys have to come with game plans. Whenever Canelo goes in with the fight thinking his power is going to win, he won't win. You have to use that mindset too. Grandal. And then it comes down to when you're in the 10th round and your balls are fucking aching. Your gut hurts. You feel that shit creeping up to the bottom of your gut. Are you still going to stand up and pound, goes pound for pound? Did you take those hits and keep going? Does that belt mean that much to you? And I, I guess that's what it comes down to for me. I, I've boxed before. I, you could tell I'm kind of passionate. My dad was a heavyweight title holder. This runs in our family, so it just comes down to that heart for me, I guess. And I... I haven't, you know what though, I'm not saying he doesn't have heart, because I promise you, you put that man's title on the line, he will fight for his title. You Don't underestimate him as a champ. Do not underestimate him as a champ. But do I think he did good things for the sport? I do not. That's my opinion. Rookie Clays and Rookie Brosseau. Donaire is really fun to fight. Yeah, watch. Oh man, Donaire is a lot of fun. Like a mini Pacquiao, bro. I get you, Luis, bro. But if I don't get you, Luis, I'll give you one. You know, I have like so many of them. They're not a short print in this product. I got tons of them for you, though. You want Luis Roberts in here? I'll get you, Luis Roberts. Hasley. I think uh, Floyd Mayweather should be. Inducted to the Hall of Fame though. Berrios. Yastremski. Missing nameplate. That's a variation. For Zuich. And that was your thing. And you understood boxing and everything. And I totally get it. Exactly. Boxing should be what it means to you. Riley and Rogers. And the fact that it appealed to you, that's awesome. I think that's cool. But I don't think there's a lot of people out there that it appealed to, like, as a mass majority. When you think of a champion, you think of the people's champ, right? It draws crowds. Ali had worldwide crowds. People had worldwide crowds. I feel like Mayweather was the opposite. He had worldwide haters. But, I mean... A hater is just another way to judge your success too, right? Because I promise you I wouldn't have a million haters if I wasn't good. Davis. Uriel. Morgan. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card, fortune teller. Hey, Brian, you should look up what that uh, tarot is. I'm a hater. What did I do? Grisham rookie. Have you been hitting that peanut butter risky? Yeah, that's just my main thing. I, I would agree. I agree with all of you three. I mean, I have nothing to say against opinions and whatnot that's totally up to each person but i agree stop james stop it buster posey fry verlander anderson lewis rookie card and smoke out of 250 for the trout oh um 160 out of 250. I know, if you could just find a bazooka back one of these guys, it'd be really nice, right? This is a good hit, bro. This trout? Shoot. No bazooka back there. No bazooka back here again. The zo Where? On the Lewis? Lewis has a name. Oh, it was Zewich was the no name. T 
TJ Zuch. Zuch? We got one, two, three, four, five, six to go, brother. Reyes, Keston here, I'm gonna put that to the side. Yelich, you take Yelich's too? I'll put that to the side for now. Means, oh, Pete Alonzo, I'll put that to the side. No rookies. I think Tyson Fury is gonna mess Joshua up. I don't know when they're gonna fight, man. Right now, this that's the one thing I hate, it's getting too political. I got them all aside for you already, brother. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the more money is like, just kind of slows the process down. And now I'm happy that we're getting the action we're getting in fights. We need to speed it up a little bit, and we need to increase the heavyweight class. We don't have enough contenders. Back in the day, it used to be such a thrill to watch the one through ten seed and all the changes and everything. And now it's like all changed, you know. We need more heavyweights. We need more coverage. I like that PBC has brought back, brought back Fight Night, Guerrero Jr. You guys watch that? PBC Fight Night? It's like Fox or whatever. You guys can talk all the shit you want about Fox, but they play boxing, bro. Boyd. Williams. Odor. Oh, Canelo's gonna win. Oh, hey! We got one, bro! For Williams, Bazooka back. I don't know if Fury's popular stateside. I don't care about where where they're from or any of that. It's not about popularity for me. I just think he's a good fighter. I think he could. He's a very weird fighter, which kind of intrigues me to be honest. It's very. He's he intrigues me. I'll just put it that way. I think he could be. I think his jabs are deceivingly stronger than they look. I think his height is is uh, deceivingly annoying. I think if he learns to control his the way he stands, because he slouches a bit, which gives up distance. If he can learn to stand up straight to use that as distance and to slouch to get in power, like kind of like lull people in. And I've already seen him do things like this. Like he plays subtle tricks. Like he'll slouch down so his punches get shorter, so you get closer into an infight, and he'll step back and start throwing bombs on you. So that I think is very clever, but I'd like to see him do that a little bit more and in different situations. He kind of telegraphs when he does that, in my opinion. But in the heat of the fight, it's kind of hard to say that he telegraphs anything. And I think he beat uh, Wilder. I think he had Wilder's number. Nola. In the first fight, too. Uh, bro. Well, I don't know. In the first fight, though, in the first fight, I will take this back, though. In my heart, I feel like he won... But judging wise, I agree it was a draw. If you scored every round accordingly and you did due diligence and you weren't biased, I promise you that fight came out a draw. It's hard to score it any other way. Because knockdowns do that to a fight. Tatis Jr. Nice. Every fight looks like his first fight. It's like a baby giraffe walking. Yates and Leba. Nice rookie. Let's check for bubblegum backs. We'll go over all the rookie and rookies and check bubblegum bubble backs too, brother. That's a good Tatis. Oh, this is a little thick pack. Okay. Iglesias. Come on. No, but I believe it. He swings kind of wild. Iglesias. Turner. Samar. Tarot card for Springer. Orovino. And Munia's rookie. But the thing is, you can't change his style, Aaron. You cannot change his style. He. Aron, I'm sorry. You cannot change his style. That's how he derives his power. 
You change. I, I, I promise you, his trainer tried to change his style to make him faster, to make him better, to do the things I just said, and he lost power. So they said we got to work on him the way he is, which seems very true to me. He seems like he's that type. For everyone who says he fights weird, get used to it. That's how he fights. If it works for him, it works. He feels comfortable. It's hard to it's hard to beat comfort. You know, I don't care what you say about style. This looks ugly. This that another. If you're comfortable and you're knocking dudes out. Then you do what you're comfortable at. Come on, man. Focus in. There we go. Harvey, rookie. Muncy. Ozzy Albies. I'm going to put that to the side. Agrizal, rookie. And Hillard, rookie. Oh, behind it, we have a lot of rookies in that pack. Let's go for the check. Nope. Man, it would be nice to get one of those bazooka backs on a rookie. Last pack, bro. Good luck with that auto. Come on, auto. I think Triple G could have done better. I think Triple G got overwhelmed. I don't think he fought the way he wanted to fight. I think he was frustrated with himself more than anything. And I think Canelo is a worthy adversary, whether you like it or not. True. Demerit, I really thought Triple G was going to win, if uh, you're asking me what I was thinking. I didn't think he won at the end of that fight, but I really thought I thought he was going to win. No, I, I, I would disagree with that, to be honest. I think... Uh, oh, did he win, though, the first fight? No, he didn't win the first fight. It was a draw. He should have won. Horner, Nola, but in okay. So isn't Canelo the title holder in that fight? Right, Canelo was title holder. Holder. My thing. So this is how I've always been raised to think: you have to come and take the title. You don't get the title. You don't get the lucky breaks. You have to take the title. You have to take it. I earned that title. You have to take that title. If there's any type of meh, I don't know, it goes to Canelo. You have to take the title. I am a champ in this house for a reason. You come take it from me. So unless it's that defined that, yeah, he took that title. He made him his bitch. Then I don't think you can switch it over on, on an easy decision, on a on a soft decision. I would say, and I would have to watch the fight again to be honest, to say whether it was soft or a hard decision. But you know, oh yeah, the second one I remember very well. He did, and he and he took care of his ass. But I like Triple G as a fighter. Don't get me wrong, I was sad that he did not do as well as I thought he would. I know, man, that sucked. Got a, a lot of good cards, but no auto. That trout was really nice. If that was signed, that would have been something else. That's something totally out of this world. Hi, right, brother. We have. Springer, Taro, Pete Alonzo, Yelich, Keston Hura, Hillard, May. You know what? These are all rookies. You know they're rookies. We're going to check the bazooka back. Because these are the ones I did not check when we did it. So we could still get lucky one more time. It's not looking good, though. No. And our hits would be the Castillo, numbered out of 250. Boba Shit Tarot Card Rookie, that's a good one. Yamamoto Rookie, that's a good one. This is the Bazooka Back Williams. Second year Guerrero Jr., I think. Second year, yeah. Gavin Lux Rookie. Demerite Rookie. Nola and Horner. Not that those necessarily hits, just a little bit better rookies, I guess. I hope so. 
Can you imagine getting a pink swirl Kobe White? That's uh, you're talking about five, six Gs. Amir Khan had some bad breaks, but his work ethic was bad. That's what his problem was. He was fast as hell. His work ethic was bad, and his chin was too soft. Straight up. And early on, last thing you need is someone to have a soft chin and get exposed like that. It's over. It's over. Bro, when people find that out, I will tell you this. When I was boxing, if I knew someone had a soft chin, I lost all fear for them. I, I lost all fear for them, bro. Like, I did not step into that ring sad at all. I had one goal. And I don't care how many times you tried to hit me. I was going for your fucking chin. I was going to rattle your fucking brain. That was the only way it was. So, that in itself. He can box. Yeah, he can box. He can box really well. But he's got a liability on his shoulder. And people aren't scared of him anymore. That's that's That in itself is bad. Well, it wasn't just Canelo, though. He got knocked out by that one dude who wasn't very well known in the first 30 seconds. Sent tumbling into the turnbuckle. But he's got poor work ethic is really what it is, man. He used to come in... This uh, Roach used to talk about how this dude would come in at midnight, 1 o'clock all the time. And whether, whether you have a soft chin or not, it's not just that. It's what the confidence it gives to the other guy. That itself. So you have to understand that dude's coming in. Like, I'm going to knock your chin out. Yeah, Prescott, there you go. All right, bro, we got paper here, and all these will ship to you, brother. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you, man. Sorry I couldn't pull anything better, though. That sucked. I really wish I pulled a monster out of there. I think if if uh, Triple G was in better shape and did better, I don't think he, I mean I don't think he was destroyed in the first place. I think defeated, thoroughly defeated, yes. But I think he could he that that could have been a good fight again, one more time. Honestly, I think Triple G would have came back strong, but I don't think he wants that action. You got it, brother. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> but was he really coming back? Or were they picking good fights for him? Because that's another thing that happens quite a bit now. They cherry pick the shit out of uh, your path. It wasn't always like that. I mean, there was always a small margin of it because you just cannot help not being clever about who you fight or how you fight. But it wasn't always like that. Now it's become almost an art to set up your your path, get to that undefeated record, so you can make a big payday or something. You know, find a, fight a whole bunch of journeymen. But I wouldn't say that Floyd went blow for blow with Canelo. I think he frustrated him and played the the distance really well. Smothered him when he needed to and backed off when he couldn't. But at the same time, you're right. Who else could stand? That's like saying who could stand in with a machine gun and dodge bullets. You know, like I, I, I get exactly what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, early on he was doing well. But he got scared. That power scares you, bro. I'm telling you. Look, you walk around with a chin like that. You feel power like that on your arm. You duck down your arm to block a punch, and your elbow shakes. You quickly think about how that shit would hurt your chin. How think you're gonna you're gonna change the way you box, bro? He that that power was overwhelming for him. It really was just too overwhelming. Floyd Floyd fought smart. Floyd always fights smart. I would say how Floyd fought smart is how Holyfield rolled his head during punches. So clever. So little, but you can't tell what he's doing. 
but he's doing it and he's making you so mad. Or how uh, how he would just intentionally duck down and lift up that it wouldn't look like a headbutt, but it was still a forceful headbutt, more or less. You think Canelo had a chance? I think Canelo. I think Canelo felt like he had a couple of chances, but I don't think he truly had a chance. I think there was only maybe one time where uh, Mayweather really felt like he was in jeopardy or threatened, and he responded very well. I think it was in the sixth round or something. He got knocked pretty good. The crowd went crazy, but after that, it kind of he was able to gauge things very well. And people like that are very smart. It's like a football player. You get a strong, fast football player. He's the shit. He's so good. He's so strong. But he don't got no brain. Then you put someone up there who uses a little bit of brain. Sees that every time the, this guy in front of me, 83, comes to block me. Whenever his knuckles hit the ground, he gets too slow on the right side so I can take the quarterback from the right side. That extra thinking, that's the type of person I see Floyd as. I would agree with you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I could say. Yeah, I'll agree with you there, Miguel. We should have knocked him out. You're not going to get a... Let me just put it this way. You're not going to get a better chance to knock him out than, than that. I don't know. Delo Hoya, I think, would have got frustrated. I think... Uh, I don't know. It's hard, man. It's like comparing, comparing apples and oranges. Fight style change... I don't like Floyd. I never liked Floyd. It's not that I dislike Floyd. It's just that I judge him for who he is as a boxer. I, there's only two boxers I really, really like. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson, youngest heavyweight champion. Born on my birthday one year later. I was one year old when he became a champion. My dad has pictures and all that stuff. And Muhammad Ali, my old man, met him on the islands and all this other stuff. So those are the two boxers I really like. Like, if you're going to ask me who are my boxers, I know people always say those two boxers, but they both have a meaning for me. So those are my two boxers. But uh, I have mad respect for anyone who bo boxes. Anyone who boxes. And I don't even like comparing those two to fight each other, to be honest. Uh, I like the work ethic. I like that Tyson was fucking crazy. I like that he wanted to kill somebody, and that's what he worked towards. You put a goal out there, you do that shit. Ali would say, I'm going to knock your ass out in the fourth round. That's what he would do. Put a goal out there, and he would do it. He didn't care how good he was. He would go running every morning. I love that shit. That's what I liked. Those those people embody the sport for me. I'm in my opinion. I'm sorry, and I don't I don't mean to offend anybody, but when I'm an old 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 man and I'm talking about boxing to my grandkids, I'm not talking about Floyd Mayweather. I think I have seen a one. If not, I'll, I'll probably check it out tonight, Miguel. I don't have too much sorting to do. I, I, actually, after all this talking, I was thinking about watching a fight. I was actually going to go put on the Gotti versus Ward fight. I don't know why that one popped up. I was just thinking about that one. Or maybe the Riddick Bow versus uh, Tyson fight first, and then the Gotti Ward fight. Something gory. Yeah, his perfect record will always sound perfect. But what I'm saying is, uh, it's just not who I'll be talking to when I'm an old man. And you can have all the perfect records in the world. No, and definitely, I'm sure tons of people will give him props when I'm an old man sitting with my kids and they're like, with my with my grandkids and they're like, Grandpa, 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 who was uh, who was your favorite or why or any of this? I'm I'm. His name won't even cross my mind. I can tell you that right now. I don't have to wait till then. You know? I, I like, you just wouldn't. Uh, he's got a perfect record. Right on, bro. You did great. You did great for yourself.
Yeah, it's boxing. This is true. And he didn't win my card, and that is part of the rules. It's just like, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a rule in the NFL that if there's a kickoff and the ball is rolling, uh, like, let's say the ball is rolling on the sideline, the ball hit the ground, it bounced, and it's rolling towards the sideline. It's at the five yard, but it's inbounds. If the guy lays out of bounds and touches the ball while it's inbounds, it will go to the 40 yard line. It will be like the kick was outside. So it's a rule. It's a great rule. And it's a rule that helps you a lot. And if you know how to use that rule, then more power to you when you use that rule. But do people like when you use that rule? No, a lot of people don't like when you use that rule. It's smart. Why wouldn't you? If it's written in the books, why not do it? That just means you know what you're doing. No one says you gotta be a dummy when you play a sport. No one says you gotta be this big old lunkhead when you go boxing because because you're a heavyweight. I like that mental that mental game. I like that. You know, I like that thinking. I like watching the fights, and I like watching like one thing I can expect about Floyd Mayweather. He catches people's patterns so quick, he will bait that pattern out, evade that pattern, pop shot two or three times, get a quick punch, and turn around. I don't like the pop shots. I don't like the movement. I like that he understood that that guy didn't understand what he was doing and baited it out. That's what I enjoyed. I enjoyed the mind mind fuckery that was going on there between those two. That's what I really like. But if it was if it was in my opinion or my option, I wish he would have lit him up right there and knocked him out. I wish he would have gone in, hit him two times in the chest, took a hit back, but kept going to the face because he knows he's in an opportune position. But you'd rather take three hits, bounce off, and do it again. And take the three hits, bounce off, and do it again. Or take the four or five hits and bounce off and do it again. And he's so um, stuck to his way of scoring, which is fine, that he makes speed the, the killer, which is good. But his speed being the killer was that you couldn't hit him. He would be out of there before you could do anything. He would pop you before you could do anything. And that's just his style, man. He wasn't willing to stay in there for the punches. I think the fight that he lost, he stood in there to fight. He stood in there to fight, and he lost uh, like that. But yeah, I agree with both of you guys have a good point. I don't want to split ties. <laughs> he is who he is. He's made millions for the reasons he's made millions. We will never make that money. So he's done now. I hope we have a good field coming in. This heavyweight field looks loaded, man. Really. And what I mean is Ruiz did something really good for the heavyweight field. He shook it up. He shook it up. You don't know how bad we needed that upset in boxing. That was one of the best things that could have happened to us. Even if he wasn't the most skilled in the ring or whatever. And I will give you this. He was the most experienced when it came to taking hits and continuing. For everyone who's saying Joshua was sick, Joshua was this, that, and the other. He got knocked out. Bro. You got too excited, you got knocked out. You did not protect yourself correctly, you talk, took a punch from a bad angle, you got knocked out. Your head got shook, that shit happened. If you weren't feeling good, you just wouldn't have fought. Well, he didn't train hard enough. He did not train hard enough, and he knows it, and that upset me, man. But, you know, I can't say I understand and I can't say it's okay. But he gave his mama... He he is not a contender. He was not a champ. Let's be honest. He was never slotted to pick that, that title up. That was not going to happen. He was not there for that reason. He was a contender a long time ago. A long time ago, he was. But at this point, that's not why they set him up with that. That is not what they were intending to do. And he got lucky. But he didn't train like a champ. I, I, I truly believe if it was a younger Ruiz, he would have trained like a champ. But I think he understood, like, I'm getting older. I have to put a lot more work in. I have to do these things. That guy is a young guy. That guy is going to put in the work. That guy is going to go running miles and miles and miles. And I think he just lived it up a little too much, bro. You don't become a millionaire and do all those things and not live it up after you've been living. Bro, you step in the ring with some of the greatest fighters. And then you... Exactly. Bro, Exactly. People always be talking about Butterbean. Butterbean took this huge loss. Butterball, Butterbean, whatever from Tyson. But he made like, I think, $10, 15000000 million. And every other fight he had was 100000 or 500000 Who really won? 
you know? Well, I mean, who really won is both of them, because we're the real losers, to be honest. <laughs> we sit here and watch the pay-per-view, but it is what it is. Maybe if life was different, maybe my daughter will become the female heavyweight champion of the world, or the female uh, female uh, lightweight champion of the world or something. Or maybe my son will. That'd be kind of cool. And whatever they want to do. But I, uh, guys, I had a lot of fun. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed talking boxing with you guys. I enjoyed ripping these cards open. I enjoyed the Spectra, man. That was dope. That was dope. Hopefully we get this um, mosaic filled. Bros, go check it out. Uh, it's on the website. Mosaic, first off the line. It's a hobby box. It costs $1,400 right now. Teams as cheap as like 60 bucks, man. You could pull a pink swirl and make a couple thousand dollars. Just look it up tonight. Mosaic, pink swirl. And look at the teams available. Huh? You get two teams, yeah. Pelicans are locked. No one can get the Pelicans. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take the Pelicans in this, guys. I think this box is gonna be fun. I haven't broken any mosaic hobby myself. I wanna pull the Pelicans. So, the overall price of everything is less than, is less than, um, $900 for everything. On my side. Oh, you're welcome, Aron. Stop by again, brother. Hey, uh, one time I gotta show you. There's these boxing cards. We gotta, we gotta do like a little boxing card break with us, bros. That'd be kind of fun, huh? Do like a Muhammad Ali, a Tyson, a De La Hoya, a Floyd Mayweather chaser. See who can get what and try to get an auto. That'd be dope. You too, brother. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, brother. Everybody, thank you so much. Zach, Josh, Aaron, Brian, everybody, Miguel, there's like so many people, Charles, Davy, Davy, Dion, you guys are all awesome, I appreciate y'all very much, we're gonna call it a night for tonight, man, it's time for baby to sleep, it's time for me to go get some food and chill out, and uh, tomorrow I hope to see you all again, let's fill this Chronicles up and break that tomorrow if you guys are game, I'm game. And, um, yeah, much love, fam. Much love to all of you. See you soon.